One of my main uh, recommendations is that since it's been difficult to eradicate Lantana Kamara, one of its uses, we can apply it in our crop protection and also as a um, uh, seed codes so it can co uh, co uh, control and protect seeds during the uh, 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 process. In addition to that, what we will still need to go deeper into the isolated compounds so that we can produce the, the, the very added products from uh, compounds isolated from Lantana Kama. But I also have to emphasize the fact that the, 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 this, um, this commodity, since it's already available, so the smallholder farmers, they can still prepare this extract on their own and apply it on their field at mm -hmm. no cost. If you see this plant, of course it has to be eradicated. But then the smallholder farmers, they can still collect the leaves from that plant, extract it with water and apply it on their crops, but only if they are infected with the fusarium pathogens. There's uh, more which we are doing on Lantana Kamara. This research is not a dead end. We'll carry out or we'll carry on to extract more data from this research so that we can develop a product. That's our ultimate aim. At the end of the day, the smallholder farmers, they will be able to get a product from Lantana Kamara at no cost or maybe at an affordable price, so to say, because there are some implications in, 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 in the processing of the product itself, they will have to be counted in. But at the end of the day, it will be readily available to, uh, to the smallholder farmers. And uh, commercial farmers in general, because one of the advantages is because it's, uh, since it contains lots of, uh, of chemicals, it can easily be used in a situation whereby the pathogen has developed resistance.